Stellar is a platform that connects payment systems and people. It's a decentralized network, meaning no single company has the power to turn it off. Stellar's decentralized network is made up of all the independent computers that run Stellar software. Anyone can join. Stellar's network is different from Bitcoin's in a few key ways. Computers on Bitcoin's network compete with each other to validate transactions through a process called mining. This requires expensive hardware and lots of electricity. Stellar doesn't rely on mining, because when a network's miners disagree, the network can split in two. This has happened in the past with both Bitcoin and Ethereum. But because Stellar allows digital versions of real-world assets like digital UN or digital bonds, Stellar had to devise a way to prevent the creation of duplicate versions of those assets. For example, if a dollar on Stellar were duplicated, its backing bank would suddenly owe two real-world dollars, one for each copy of the network. This would obviously be a problem. So Stellar uses a unique way to settle transactions, developed by researchers at Stanford University. Here's how it works. Stellar relies on cooperation within the network, rather than competition. Each company doing business on Stellar connects a computer to the Stellar network. It picks a few other computers it always wants to agree with, it processes the transactions they process, and keeps its list of transactions aligned with theirs. The computers the company depends on, in turn, have chosen to agree with others. And those ones agree with still other computers, and eventually the whole network is covered in an interlocking web of agreement. It's actually very similar to how the Internet's web servers work. Stellar uses this pattern to guarantee the network's safety. Every five seconds, the connected computers negotiate with each other, according to very specific rules, to finalize their agreement. They cross-check each other across the whole network, all at once. The rules of the system have been designed so that even if bad computers participate, accuracy and stability are maintained. This agreement system is called the Stellar Consensus Protocol. It allows computers running Stellar to process transactions in under five seconds without using a significant amount of electricity and for a very, very small transaction fee. So who runs Stellar nodes today? Global banks, developers, businesses, anyone who wants to transfer money via the Stellar network. Stellar is simple to set up, free to use, and above all, it's open to everyone. And that's a big improvement over today's international financial infrastructure.